Moving on, uh, Jay-Z, we talked about this. Jay-Z, Beyonce, Blue Ivy, all sitting during the National Anthem during the Super Bowl. We were kind of wondering right. what Jay-Z's position was. This is on TMZ Sports. You can see the video. Uh, he says this was absolutely not a silent protest. Remember, his company partnered with the NFL to try to kind of make things a little bit better in social yeah. activism, and he was doing the halftime show. He said he was working and that he was analyzing the yeah. anthem. He said he was even talking to Beyonce about what was going through Demi Lovato's mind and brain at that time because Beyonce's performed at the Super Bowl right. before, but there you don't even necessarily see the dialogue. I still don't understand why they couldn't have stood and had the conversation. Yeah, I know. I think and he's even, on damage control a little bit. Yeah. 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 You I still mean, can stand and, and, and dab. Right. And he said he discuss that are whispering here like is she okay but he did say like he was worried about the sound and the mic and the this that and the other but you can stand and worry mm -hmm. right yeah right i mean right I mean, he looked like he was hiding right behind the the, the security guys in front of him and all that i don't know you know what the, the one thing that we again i don't know how many times i gotta say this <laughs> but the thing that we do if we the one thing we can come together on is the fact that we do for the moment still have a democracy where people get to go vote Right? Mm -hmm. We've got to exercise that franchise, mm -hmm. but you can go vote, and we have an opportunity for people to express themselves in this country in any way that they want to do it. Right. But I think one of the things about the, the national anthem, however you're going you're gonna to look at it, that's one of the things that, that coalesces us and lets us get up and say that we all honor all of these traditional ethics of American culture. That first mm -hmm. verse, right. but that second verse honors slavery. So we have to think about those kind of things. Read the lyrics to the song. Let's talk about what's really there. And what, and when that's, everybody wasn't free in the beginning when we started singing this song. So you got to think, we, we got to get out of the, the linear way of thinking and think about the way these things in this world affect all of us. And there's two verses to that song. And the second one is very much a pro-slavery verse. So read it and think about why some people don't want to stand and why others kneel. Right. That's educated college yeah. degree Erica speaking right there. Yeah. <laughs> And, but Jay-Z said, said that, listen, we've addressed that. We've addressed the kneeling. He was in support of Colin Kaepernick, but he has really come out and said, listen, he's trying to bridge the gap. That's why he took the job, the partner. So, But a lot of people don't stand during the national anthem. Yeah. It's not always about a protest. Right, right. It, you know. Yeah. I, I, I see that. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying he's saying that it was not a silent protest at all, right. even well, though he was in support of it. Have you seen the, uh, the video of the president dancing during the national anthem at Mar-a-Lago on Sunday during their Super Bowl party? <laughs> no. and, like, and everybody's standing there with their hands on and he's like doing this, <laughs> and he's leading the orchestra, and then he's doing like the Austin Powers high five thing over to there. Oh. It, was, it, it got a little weird. People were like, well, what about that? And then, and again, it doesn't seem to matter if you people are on one side yeah. or the other. We, we got to find some common ground here, regardless yep. of these people. Yep, yep, yep. All right, moving on.